Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to be hitting a story about magnetospheric compression in the May 2024 solar storm, how close we came to catastrophe. We'll also discuss galactic core flaring of the Milky Way in a bit of weather, but we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star and we find a moderate activity day. Things were quiet a week ago, but minor flares, pop surges, and filament destabilizations are happening more frequently. Today, we're watching the central core of active regions. Sunspots have gained some size and complexity overnight, could see flares return today from these ones directly facing Earth. And the filaments getting eruptive too, this event ongoing at the northern polar crown this morning. We also look ahead to the massive coronal hole system. This will face Earth Sunday night, provide a significant earthquake watch, and those on Twitter hopefully saw last night we are entering the polar field earthquake season. Heavy solar wind should arrive in about five or six days from it as well. We're off next to weather with a note in and around Oceania. Major band of moisture, and for good reason, there are several nodes within it that could become named storms. Eyes open there, likely to have alerts within 36 hours. We're off now to the core of the Milky Way, the central engine they love calling a black hole. Its flaring activity is piquing curiosity among astronomers. They make slight hints at, and animate the revelation of, a major outburst at the core. Sure, hope not. Hope that's not coming. That's Dr. Laviolette's superwave theory. Lastly, folks, the magnetospheric compression from solar storm impact. A somewhat new study is driving down into those details here in a new paper showing that the compression was dangerously low, almost near Carrington event levels. We actually already shared this paper a couple months ago, but since it's in the news again, don't mind coming back. You see, the Van Allen belts are within the L shells here. The number corresponding to how many Earth radii away, they cross the magnetic equator. Carrington likely got down to L2. The May 2024 solar storm got to L3.3. That is a seriously low number. Remember, when you get to L1, you have the arc discharge risk, the thunderbolt of the gods. Moderate storm in May caused near devastating compression, and all because that magnetic field is weakening, getting pushed around a lot more here in the magnetic pole shift. At Observer Ranch, there's a conference coming this weekend, several events ongoing every month. Check out the events page, the Observer Bot, our books and merchandise, and of course, book your reservation to come see us. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.